What is up, Flock? King Silver here, and welcome back to another Farming Sim 22 Mod Spotlight. This is where we check out some cool mods to give you guys my thoughts and opinions. I'll leave a link down in the description down below. I don't know why I just clapped my hand. We're going to leave a link in the description down below so you two can go download them if you are interested. Now, today, I actually already recorded a Mod Spotlight for this week, last week, and I'm just going to push that to next week because this one is way cooler. It just released yesterday uh, on Tuesday morning. It, you're watching this on Wednesday. It, this just released, and I've literally spent about two and a half hours playing around with this thing already, and it is... It's awesome. I love it, and I figured we'd make a video specifically for it and talking about it and rating it. Does that make any sense? Anyway, we are checking out the placeable train track mod. You heard me right. Placeable train track. So this is not... Uh, if you guys have played... Uh, Amer I'll even show you. Here you go. Placeable train track mod. So if you go into construction, I have a lot of crap in my mods folder, so... Uh, it shouldn't be as hard for you, but if you go to others and you go all the way over past this, all this other stuff here, you will eventually, at some point in my mods folder, get to, okay, we're still going, train, placeable railroad mod, I said train like I got all excited, anyway, so, we have all kinds of, and I'm, here I can zoom out and show you guys exactly everything that comes with this. So you have the these like uh, I, I don't know what they're called, uh, but you have one, two, three, I think four lengths of straight track. Okay, we'll see. First off, you have the rare place for railroad signal, which we will check out in a minute. You have the uh, city railroad crossing guard. You have the county railroad crossing guard. You have concrete crossing. You have a train platform. You have a train stop. You have a hundred meter re railer track. I wonder if this is uh, can help you put it on. We'll talk about that in a second. It says re railer. So I'm wondering if that helps you get stuff on the rails we have a 20 meter straight track you have a 100 meter straight tra track and you have 500 meter straight track you have a uh, switch left a switch right a crossover track two different crossover tracks so one of them let's see so one crosses this way the other one crosses the other way it looks like all right you have a placeable yard ladder start placeable yard ladder extension which are over here you have these extensions over here uh, place of extension shop ladder you have a 5 degree angle 10 degree angle 20 degree angle 30 degree angle 90 degree angle which we have a couple of those in um, so I don't have the 90 degree oh yeah the 90 degrees for some reason went through the map I'm not quite sure what happen there uh, and then you have these are the left turns these are right turns so yeah you have all kinds of stuff so here's your 90 turn here uh, but not only that that's just the placeable rails that is just that's one mod itself if you go into the locomotives you have all of these locomotives uh, so we have all the uh, we have all of the Norfolk Southern bought because that's what ran through town before uh, it was a DCR, Delaware Central Railroad, took over. Um, or started leasing the track. So we, we got all those. But we have Amtrak trains. And these are just the locomotives. We have railroad cars too. Now, I'm going to, uh, we're going to discuss it all in a bit. But yeah, you have all of these freaking railroad cars as well to go with it. It's crazy. So... Yeah, let's just let's just ride the track that I've placed down so far. So, look at this. Look at this. Now, I will say not all the locomotives have this option, but actually, you know what we should do is we should buy one to just show you guys how to get it on the rails and all that. Uh, we'll just pull this one ahead. Now, the easiest way to do this 
if you don't want to run to wherever, unless you put like the trail, the the tracks right next to your where you purchase your stuff. Um, here we can hold on. We can actually. Let's go ahead and we'll place the rails down. So as you can see, some of them do connect to others. And how simple it really is. This is this looks complicated. Don't get me wrong. It looks complicated. It looks complicated, but it's really not. Um, hold on. We just gotta scroll. We have to get through. Okay. Um, we'll do this. So... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my 90 degree snap just to make sure it's the way I like it. How many is this? Uh, okay, we'll just put this rot here. And bam! And watch. When we go over it, When we go over it, now we will stay on track. Oh, that's so awesome. That's so awesome. So yeah, let's go ahead. We'll go ahead and show you guys all about how to purchase these. So again, unless you put your tracks right near where your shop is, you're going to have to use the shop or the, what's it? Uh, shop deliveries or something like that mod I'll link it down below with the rest of these mods so basically how you do it is when you put that mod in you load it up and you can hit uh, left control and shift and you'll see this little highlight come up and then you can hit S and that will set your shop deliveries to be delivered here so now when I buy a locomotive um, we don't have a CSX yet, so let's we'll buy a CSX here, and then you can customize the numbers. So if you want 999 or 900 or 9961, there you go, you can buy that. And some of them do have a uh, different customization, like this one, you can have the different. So, as you can see, shop delivers here. Now, if I want to deliver it... Oh, that's caps lock. If I want to deliver here, it's hit S. And when I go and buy, we'll buy the next CSX one here. And we'll do the... Yeah, the... That. Bam. Now it's delivered on this side. So... You, that's kind of like a must-have to get this to work properly unless again you're gonna run your rails right up next to your shop uh, you're, you're gonna have a bad time because you're gonna have to carry it like if I had didn't do that you have to carry it all the way down here one second okay sorry I'm back mrs. is at work and texting me all right so must have another one you must have is the easy dev tool or or yeah you have to have it's his modified version of the easy dev tool so it allows you to lift heavier stuff um, which you, you can use the regular easy dev tool uh, to lift these things on but once you get the longer um, the longer uh, rail car sets you're gonna need his version that allows you to uh, lift heavier objects now you want to get this thing on these rails just like so that went way too easy and I am mind blown how quick that was. So it's on here. Um, there are some invisible wheels that I apparently, so that's what you're seeing here where it's just kind of like setting up like that. There's some invisible wheels. You just gotta get fiddle around with it. I'm pretty sure the next one's gonna be hard. Harder than what this one was. Um, but once you get in, make sure you hit X, which will unfold it and allow the the axles to move freely along the railroad so that or <laughs> along the tracks so that went way too easy 
let's try this again. All right, uh, so we're gonna get up and get it, pick it up here, and we're gonna drop it like so. As you see, it can be quite a hassle, and the locomotives are a lot easier than the rail cars. Just so you know, um, I practically rage quit on the Amtrak cars because I want to have an Amtrak train set up for uh, this video, but no go. All right, can we get on here? It, like I said, it's just a little bit of like finessing to get it to plop down just right. And you're gonna run into these problems. It's frustrating unless you are like a pivot. Got boom on. That was relatively easy too. And then you, of course you hit unfold because if you don't, I guess I could show you what happens if you don't real quick. Let's go ahead and move this up. Do do do, horn. They don't have lights from what I've noticed, so keep that in mind. But you can connect these things. You just go and boom, connect it. Let's go ahead. Oh. There we go. Alright, so if you do not uh, unfold it, so we're going to make sure it's folded again. When you drive over these, especially when you get to bends, it's just going to derail. Because what the unfold does is it allows these to move freely, as you can see. Boom. So if you have it locked, that's unlocked right now. If you lock it, you see they switch back in place and it prevents them from moving around. So that helps you get them on the rail. So keep in mind, if you do not unfold it, you're going to have a bad time. All right. So I'm wondering if we, hold on. If we, where is it? Automatic, if we turn that off, can we keep these running? Aha! You can switch in between engines. Nice. Now you can go too fast, just like in real life. If you go try to go around these turns too fast, you can derail, as you can see the Amtrak uh, Amtrak engine over here. See if I switched it right. Because yes, the switches do work. When I did it right, it should go into this other one here. Yeah, look at me! Look at me! Oh, I'm so good. Alright, so that's in. Now, let's go ahead and switch it to... Well, I guess we'll do our BN, BNSF uh, with the rail cars. Switch. Now, like I said, some of these rail cars can be quite difficult. I had 
no luck whatsoever with the Amtrak trains. I got one on, and if I tried to do more, uh, it constantly would fall apart. So I I gave up on that. Well, uh, not only is it the, it seems to be like the taller. There you go, the taller of the uh, rail cars. You have the uh, Amtrak train or Amtrak passenger cars. You have the uh, like the automotive uh, train car, the one that they put cars on. That one is a little bit difficult. Uh, what was the other one I had problems with? But like the ones that are this size and shorter seem to be the easiest ones to get on. Oh. Okay. Well, mistakes were made. As you can see, it's a bit finicky. It is a little bit finicky, and it's probably uh, the unevenness and the speed that caused me to derail there. Because I think this is a bit uneven back here. It could be, I don't know. I don't know, it's a bit finicky. These, tra Like I said, these train cars are probably the worst. Uh, so let's go ahead and see if we can disconnect these. Right, let's go ahead and disconnect those. So, next plan then is to go uh, with our. Yeah. Our Norfolk Southern train. And we'll take a rundown of these real quick. Uh, I don't know. I don't know all the models. This is the uh, SW 1500. This is the Georgia Pacific 38. Isn't that Georgia Pacific 382? Uh, the SD 40, which I think is the most common around here. I'm not The C 48. The 44.9W, the AC44C6M, the SD9043 MAC, MAC, and last but not least we have the SD78. Alright, so those are all the models in game. I guess, I guess the lead train is going to be the one that has the the last one hooked. Because this works fine. It's pulling from the other end, it doesn't seem to work. You see, not all of them have interior. go from the first one. We'll check out and see if because these are all bought in order. So I guess we'll just go through them and see which one has interiors, which one doesn't. This one has an interior. Nice. This one does. That looks like the same thing. This one is probably the same as the Santa Fe one. Same here. This one is really uh, jank, but it's there. Same with this one, same with this one, and then this one's just nothing. Alright. 
Let's roll out. Nice, I love it. Oh, you know what? I didn't switch it. Hopefully our trains don't, or engines don't derail. Looks like they're already starting to. Yep. Alright, so I have the re-railer here. So let's just pull this back and see if the this re-rails it. That's my bad. I forgot to do the switching up there. Pretty sure this is the re-railer back here. Hey look, they're actually going on the right path. I think this is the re-railer. I'm pretty sure it's the re-railer. Don't think it's gonna re-rail it. <laughs> it should have by now. I'm not a very good train engineer. Okay. Maybe I don't have the re-rail. I just have the the longest stretch. Okay. Uh, you know, let's start giving out some ratings. So first off, the railroad track, or I should say the railroad pack. Um, we'll go ahead and give a five out of five. Uh, it comes with pretty much everything you need as far as the. Are they still going. As far as the rail system is a uh, concern uh, these you just kind of go up it's kind of it's so cool that they work you just kind of go up to them and you'll see the mouse control it says turn on turn off it takes them a bit to turn off I have noticed but if we head up here turn that on as you can see comes down pretty quick Turn it off. I think the longer it's on, the longer it takes to turn off. I'm not quite sure. And then Do this. So that. So that. And what we'll do is we'll place. Uh, <laughs> this is good. This is a bit annoying. All right, we'll place this one here, and then we'll place this one over here. So as you can see, 
down. Turn it off. So it seems like the longer it's down, the longer it takes for it to come back up. So just keep that in mind. Because if we do this one the same, down and if we immediately turn it off it comes right back up so now we get to see what this thing does All right, so yeah, the the train placeable train track mod will give a five out of five. Uh, like I said, it gives you everything you need to, you need when to build your own, uh, all the different bends and, and such. So that is pretty awesome. It also gives you railroad crossings, which we don't even have. So if you want uh, to, right? We don't have them here, do we? I'm gonna look like such a fool if we do. Yeah, see, we don't have them here. We just have the the crossing lights. Oh, we don't even have the crossing lights here. So if you don't have them on your map, you can place them down here. So, you know, if a train's coming, we could... I'm not doing all that again. If a train is coming, you can place them down there. Um, yeah, 5 out of 5. The locomotive pack, we're going to give 5 out of 5 as well. Um, because it is, um, they're the easiest to deal with. Uh, I know it doesn't look like it. I mean, we have trains derailed all over the place here. Uh, but that's my own doing. Uh, the Amtrak, I purposely derailed. The CSX, I purposely derailed. Uh, the BNSF was derailed by the rail cars. And then the Norfolk Southern ones were derailed by uh, my stupidity. So... Uh, I'm not going to take off for that. They do look good. Some of them lack interiors. Others have kind of mint interiors. Other ones have pretty cool interiors. So it's kind of all over the place. I do love that they include pretty much every single railroad that's currently on the, the tracks. And pretty much every single engine that's currently on the tracks. The only thing I would love to see would be like a uh, uh, Conrail uh, throwback sort of skin. That would be kind of cool. But... Uh, to each, you know, the beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Um, lastly, we'll do the rail cars, um, which I'll, I'll give a four out of five. I'm going to give a four out of five because they can be quite complicated. Are they still moving? No, they're not. They can be quite complicated to get on the tracks. Just for example, we'll do this Amtrak one here. Um... And especially it's especially the Amtrak uh, stuff is pretty complicated because that train uh, when you initially buy it we'll show you real quick the locomotive when you initially buy it it just immediately falls over so this one this one can be a little complicated did I just get that rail on the rails yikes but um, the Amtrak stuff can be quite complicated to deal with. They're kind of top heavy and just fall over, so keep that in mind. But the rest of the rail stuff, like I said, this uh, these trail or these train cars here can be pretty simple to, to put on. So uh, for that, I'm not gonna take a huge chunk off, just four out of five. Cause some of them are a bit complicated, but this thing is amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, I I love the, I'd love to see where this goes. Make it. Uh, hopefully some easier way to uh, you know put these things on the rails would be great but yeah let's go do it for today's video guys if you guys did enjoy today's video be sure to leave a like down below it does help me out so very, very much and I do appreciate it so very very much if you guys do want to see future farming some 22 mods pilots be sure to click that subscribe button if you guys want to be notified whenever I do a live or upload a video click the notification bell and as always thank you guys so very, very much for watching I'll see you guys next time bye